Hello everybody, this is Elissa from Anchorts and Crafts and today we are breaking into this box here and this box comes to us from Sports Designs by Abigail Marie and this is one of her, uh, what is it, every bi every other month, so bi-monthly I think that would be considered Swartscription boxes. Sorry, the girls are playing with a roll of washi tape that fell on the floor and Sushi is like enamored by this roll of washi tape. And she's like, what is this? I must play with it and batting it around. And Mochi's staring at her, watching her. And they're they're hilarious. But that means that they're distracted. And they may not be, like, enamored by this box here. Because they're distracted by the washi tape. So, Sushi's now beating up on the scratching post. So, we're going to be her break into this. This is a uh, Swartz scription uh, bi-monthly box. And this one was a little bit delayed because uh, Abigail did move recently. Uh, and anybody who has ever moved knows that moving takes a lot of bandwidth and is quite an ordeal. So it was a little bit delayed getting here, which is completely fine with me because, you know, I've got a lot of diamond paintings. So I do not mind that. We're going to break into this. And, oh, I'm seeing some pink flamingos, which makes my heart happy because you guys know how I feel about pink flamingos. So these boxes come with crafty goodies. It comes with a diamond painting, all sorts of fun stuff. And, like... And they're themed and each box is going to have a theme to it so we're going to kind of set things a little bit out to the way and we're going to take everything out and look and see i kind of like to take it out of the box um so that this is kind of like the big uh reveal kind of stuff so i don't want to look at all the way <gasps> oh we because we always have certain things that are going to be consistent throughout <gasps> oh look at that that is so cute a pink flamingo sucker lollipop whatever you want to call it we have some stickers and we'll go into detail on some of these things as we go. We have some washi tapes. We have some special drills, which we're not going to look at yet because that will spoil the painting. Uh, we have a bag of goodies. Uh, we have some, oh, Sushi just realized I have a box. Are those some lights, some pink flamingo lights? Oh my gosh, this is going to be so much fun. And is this a pink? Oh, that's going to be so fun. Okay. And I love the hot pink, uh, pink flamingo pink paper that I need to keep away from Sushirelli. We're going to take this and we're going to put it like this so I can't see the painting. Uh, and we're going to move this because I want to keep this out of the way of uh, that thing who just realized that I have a box. She just realized that there is a box and now wants the box that I just closed. She's like, let me have the box, mom. I want the box. She's reaching for said box. And I'm like, nope, box is gone. Because chaos will steal said box. So we're gonna look at all the other goodies, minus the drills, because that will spoil the diamond painting. And I wanna look at the diamond painting. And we're gonna break into the stuff and see what we got. And look at this. Ooh, I, I love the little storage caddy type things like this, little bags. And look at it, it's adorable. I've got, this is like the perfect box for me of uh, like the perfect theme because this makes me think that there may be a pink flamingo on the painting. And you guys know I love my pink flamingos. <laughs> look at how cute that is. The little pink flamingos. We got a swishy tail going. And then we've got some little themed lights. If I could figure out how to open them. Ah, there's the bag. We have some pink flamingo light up light. I don't have batteries on me right now. I use rechargeable batteries, but I wanna throw these out and I, I only have a finite number of rechargeable batteries. So I have to remove some of the batteries from something uh, to light up these. But we have some, and these will take two double A's, uh, which is easy enough to go grab some double A's. But I'm gonna have some pink flamingo lights. That means I could take down, I still have my, um, <laughs> So she's like, it's a box. I fit in here. I'm going to sit in here. But I that means I could take my uh, lights from the Lunar New Year uh, festival down. I have my Lunar New Year lights all hanging right now. Um, and I could take those down and I could replace them with pink flamingo themed lights. We have a cat in a bag <laughs> or a cat in a box, whatever you want to call it. She's sitting in this. She was and then I moved it. But she was totally sitting in there because she's a cat and she fits. So she sits. We have a pink flamingo sucker, or lollipop, whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna have some, is it going to be uh, swax or is it gonna be caulk? And a little pink flamingo cover minder. 
I love it. It's a, it's a little tiny one. So Abigail likes to make or to get these tiny, tiny, like little mini cover minders, which I think are the cutest thing ever because I don't typically use a cover minder as a cover minder. I like to use them to as like little magnets to decorate things. And that one is a, so precious. So this one is going to go on my um, cover minder. Oh like my like this is going to be one of my favorite ones so this one is totally going to go on my my um, arm of my the thing that's holding my my tripod thing that's holding my my canvas lamp thing that's holding my camera the thing that's um yes that thing and that's where this is going to go because it's too precious and then we have some flamingo sunset cock we're going to take a look at that doop, doop, doop. I can see some pink and whites in here. Pretty colors. Ooh, so very shimmery. Look at the shimmer of that. Oh, I like this scent. Don't ask me to tell you what flavor it smells like. But it's good. It's kind of got like a little bit of a fruity type base, which I love because I love fruity things. But it smells good. So that is our cock. There is that. And then we have, looks like a inflatable, flam oh, that's like a drink koozie. <laughs> like a little inflatable flamingo drink koozie. That is adorable. I'll have to inflate this. It was super easy to inflate. It was like literally one breath to inflate once I kind of got the feel for it. And I'm going to have to keep this away from the girls because obviously cats and inflatable things do not go well. But I love this. This is totally adorable. Must keep away from cats because, you know, inflatable. That is super cute. We've got a couple washies. We're going to take a look at our washies, which are going to be themed. I love the leafy um, monstera leaves. Oh, I love this. Super beautiful. And then we have some beachy themes. So we have some summer beachy themed washi right there. So we have the summer vibes there. And then we're going to roll into our stickers, uh, which I have a whole summer sticker theme going on in my sticker book. So we've got some flamingos. We've got some more flamingos in Monstera. We've got some more flamingos. So these are all giving me hints that I think I'm gonna find a flamingo in that painting. Another flamingo. Another one of flamingo. More flamingos. Even more flamingo. Summer flamingo. Christmas flamingo, but flamingos nonetheless. So there's the stickers. These are going to be special drills, so we're going to save these to well, until I've opened the painting. Ooh, we have a little tote bag. I like this. That's always fun for beachy things. And let's see what we have in the tote bag. So we're going to put that there. And what do we have in here? I'm glad I have my scissors right here. What are we going to find in our tote bag? What are you up to, Sushi? Sushi's like, what are you doing, Mom? I want to know. I want to see all the things. Ooh, so this is going to be interesting. Ooh. So we've got some... Some sand, maybe, stuff. We've got some... Oh, tie-dye kit. Okay. So we've got some green, some bright yellow... Some, my bottle got crunched a little bit. Some bright red, blue, sky blue. Oh, I guess we tie-dye the bag. That would make sense. We make a tie-dye bag because it's a white canvas bag and we get to tie-dye it. So it gives you the water and the powder, gives you gloves to wear, rubber bands to tie off. And then you've got your colors, your four colors here to pour in there with the water. And it gives you your directions. And you'll use that for the white canvas bag. 
and you get to tie-dye the bag. Okay, that'll be fun. So then you get to do a tie-dye bag, and then you can do it whatever color of the like mix that you want with those. I like that. That is super cute. You never know what fun like activity and kind of crafty thing you're going to get with Abigail. She always comes up with the most creative things ever, and you never know what it's going to be. Uh, I'm going to put all of these goodies. Well, I should just put the goodies in the canvas bag or in that bag, either or, but we're going to put the tie-dye set back in the tie-dye bag, and then I could put that in here as well as all the other goodies. So we're going to take a quick look at the spread of goodies here, and then we're going to kind of break into our, uh, well, we're going to slide this out of the way, and then we're going to kind of break into this diamond painting and see what we've got, and then we'll look at this afterwards. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Stickers could stay there because they're not going to take up space. And then at the end, we will look at our box spoilers card and see what that had to say. Mm, trash. I'm going to put that in the trash. All right. Let's open this end because this end does not have a sticker on it. The other end usually shows this kit sticker on it. So we're not going to look at that. And we're going to open from here. And we will see what we've got. All right. So here's the toolkit. So the toolkit is a basic toolkit. You've got a basic pen, you've got a white tray, and you've got a blue pad of wax. I'm going to leave it in there because I'm not going to take the time to open it. And we're going to look at the drills. Oh, look at those colors. Those are some really pretty springy colors. Uh, or summer colors, I'm sorry. Those are some really pretty summer colors. And we're going to take a look at this. So first up are going to be drills. You guys know the drill with the drills. I like to look at drills first. Let's see here. Okay, so not too bad size wise, because this looks like it's a nice square. Is that going to be a 40 by 40, 50 by 50? I think it's a 50 by 50. Uh, so I think that's a 50 by 50, 40 by 40, 50 by 50, something to that effect. But we're gonna take these out and take a look at them. Looks like 46 colors with at least a few ABs in it. So let us see what we've got. Drills, oh the drills, 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 drills. So we've got a 165. Then we've got 301, 50 by 50, 349, 367, these are rounds, 520, 561, 562, 564, 612, 644, then we've got a 647, that's a nice gray, 718, nice big bag of that purple. Then we've got 738, whoop, whoop, whoop. 743, 745, 772, 783, almost skipped color, 794, 798, and then we've got this pretty 806, it's a nice color. Oh, I love this color right here. 807. That's a really one. Really nice color there. 900. That's a nice summery, very summery colors. 945. Nice pale pink. 961. Then we've got this beautiful teal. 964. 987. Right there. The pretty green. A big old bag of 989. Oh my gosh, I love that one. And I love that that's got like more than any other color so far. Uh, then we have a 993, 996, big bag of 996, big bag of 3078, kind of that creamy uh, color there. So next up, we've got 3326, and then we roll into 3328, some pretty good pinks, 3348, 3350, so pretty prominent colors there, 3716. And we've got a 3766, another big bag of that. 3781, nice brown. Uh, 3829, 3843, pretty blue. 3849, oh, that's a beautiful teal. 
3856, another nice large bag. And then our last few colors, we have a 5200, gotta have a nice white. And then we, it looks like we've got four special drills. We have a six nine or a 989 crystal. Oh, I love that in that green crystal. And then we have a 996 crystal, a pretty blue, an AB209, I love that, and an AB964. So we have four special drills, two crystals and two ABs right there. We're gonna set those off to the side. We're gonna take care of all of these. We have 46 colors so far, or well, we have 46 colors and they are just really pretty. I love the fact that we have some really prominent greens, some prominent blues, teal, or like teals, as I pointed at like a uh, pinkish salmon color. Uh, these creamy colors, fantastic, love it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take care of these drills, and then we're gonna roll out our canvas and take a look and see what our image looks like. I have not even peeked at the sticker sheet yet. That's a first. Normally as I'm looking at the drills, I'll like peek at the st sticker sheet and be like, ah, oh, that's what the image is. No, I have not done that yet, you guys. Here is our four specials and we're gonna roll this over and then we'll take a look at the sticker sheet after that. Okay, oh, <laughs> that is super fun. I love it. Let's turn this overhead off to get rid of that glare and take a look at our summer vibe in little canvas. That is cute. Okay, so this is Summer Snowman is the name of this kiss. You see the name right down here, Summer Snowman. This is by Cat's Adorkable Doodles, uh, which is the same artist that did our uh, Christmas Flamingo one. Uh, Cat's Adorkable Doodles, Summer Snowman. You can see it's got sports designs up at the top. This is going to be a square 50 by 50. It's got 46 colors with the two crystals, two ABs. You've got your legend over here, your schematic up at the top right there. And that is super cute. I just dropped one of the drills on the floor. All right, so now we're gonna take a look at where these specials will go. And then of course you have your sticker sheet. So here's the sticker sheet and it's got the information about Katrina, our cat's adorable doodles right here. So you can read that. And then you have a large picture that you can cut out if you want. And one of the fun things, uh, uh, so that's, it, I like that Abigail does, is she gives that information about your artist. You do have to cut her stickers out. They're not individually cut already, but you do get them uh, just like this. And it's a perfect size to actually fit on your uh, containers. I do run into some companies will do really big stickers and they're hard to fit on the containers. So these ones are the perfect size. So I like the small size of these stickers which is nice. So those are there. And now we're gonna take a look at our specials. So we have the Crystal 989, which is this beautiful green, and it is a musical note. On this musical note, we are going to see primarily around the perimeter of our little floaty that our flamingo is floating on. And then we also see the musical note kind of a, as a perimeter, not this dark outer edge, but right next to the dark outer edge all around our palm tree uh, right here and then right here is the musical note and that's going to give us all around all of those leaves uh, of our palm tree ex of these leaves right here to this edge let me see if, I, if you're actually seeing yeah all the way from here 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 this edge this edge this edge this edge nothing on this one or this one so not on the these two edges right up here but from here down all of those edges you're gonna have crystal as a nice glimmer and then also like i said around our little floaty um, which is gonna be wonderful i love that and then we have our crystal 996 for the water i would assume this is going to be in the water so our crystal 996 is a k symbol and that we're going to have on some of our uh, along the top edge of our glasses on our little melty snowman. You can see he's melting in the, snow, the sun. So you're gonna have some of that right there. And then we also have it kind of on like the edge of where this dark blue symbol and this lighter blue symbol meet. You're gonna have the crystal right there. Also right in here, this darker splashes right there is crystal. And then the same thing over here, these darker splotches right here are the blue crystal as well. So those are crystal 996, crystal 996, and then this interfacing right here is crystal 996. Those are our crystals. And then we have this purple AB, which is 209. And I'm looking to see if it's obvious where we have any purple in here besides right here. So that's gonna be this 
glimmer here we have the purple in the tie-dye of our tote bag which makes sense because you know tote bag uh, we're gonna be tie-dyeing a tote bag so we have it right there that's about the and then a couple spots on uh, right in here on a, the chair leg we'll have some of that a B on the chair leg uh, of our beach chair and then the last one is our 964 that one we are going to also see that AB. Where is that AB? Ah, da, da, da. Oh, yes. Okay. So that AB is going to be in our uh, floaty right here. We're going to see that AB in the one of the colors that's inside our floaty um, primarily. And then do we have it anywhere else? Oh, yes. He also makes up the perimeter, like the entire perimeter of our snowman is made of this AB. So he's going to glisten. And the perimeter of our the outline of our snowman is going to be this glistening pale 964 ab so that's going to be really pretty so that's where these specials are charted uh and now we're going to break into the special drills the extra special drills that abigail has sent us uh, because you know with abigail you can never have too many specials which i'm completely on board with that philosophy um, because you guys know i love my specials and it looks like we are going to have um these are going to be the ones charted into the tie-dye bag. So this tie-dye bag right here is going to have all of these extra special drills right here. So that's going to be phenomenal. So you guys know I love my specials and it looks like she added one, two, three, four, or a whole bunch more. Okay, so the, we're going to have um, all of these different colors. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 different colors. So rather than using the AB here, cause the AB is just gonna be in some of the other areas scattered throughout, we're gonna use all of the, which I could still use the AB there, or I could replace the AB with the purple that's charted in here uh, for, um, let's see the beach umbra, which is optional to use that instead. So it's optional to use this purple right here instead of the 209. I'll probably still do the AB just to give it a little accent instead of this one, um, but that's what she put that one as an optional. So we've got all of these colors here to replace the colors in the tote bag. And you can, and these all glow in the dark as well. So you've got all the tones, you've got the pinks, the greens, you've got a lime green, you've got a flamingo pink, You've got this red, red color. You've got this darker tone. You've got a darker uh, sunny ones. You've got this pale, pale pink. Then you've got a darker blue, a lighter blue. Um, this color, which is a, more of a fuchsia one, a yellow tone, a dark, another darker blue, and then that pale purple. And these are all gonna kind of cover the spiral of the beach tote right through here to give it that coloring uh, and I like that because that really gives it like the glimmer like an extra coloration to it I may with this kit I may add a little extra to it like I may look at the red of this right here which is a 900 and I may look at that and add either ABs or some uh, pixie dust drills to this here I may come over and add a little bit more to like this u-turn sim symbol uh, in the palm trees, which is that dark line that we're seeing right there. And I make that, I may make that an AB just because I like the glimmer of drills, uh, and special drills. I may also come into my pink flamingo and make my pink flamingo, uh, a special drill as well, just because you guys know me, I love my glimmer and my shimmer and shine. So I may do a little bit more with it because, you know, I love to, uh, I don't know if I'm going to get this done this month or not. I could, um, because we're, it's still summer here in the desert. Uh, and this would be great to kind of like do a last hurrah to summer because, you know, it's still in the hundreds outside. Uh, I had to go get my car, uh, do a recall on my car today. And when I left Palm Springs, it was 109 degrees at 11 a.m. this morning. Uh, I got back up the hill and it was still in the hundreds, but not quite 109 degrees. But those are all the specials we're going to see in this. Uh, we'll take a closer look at the canvas real quickly so you guys can see exactly how the canvas looks. And then kind of go from there. Boom, 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 boom. 
And I always leave this in because it gives me the cues of what I am doing with all of my specials. And then we'll go take a look. So we're gonna come down with that. I'm gonna put my drills back the rest of the way in their bag while we take our look at the specials. All right. So we're gonna come down and take a close look so you guys can see exactly how the symbols look. So symbol clarity is great. We're gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit better. So symbol clarity is great. You can see everything just fine. It doesn't come through very well because I don't have the light, the overhead light on, but I can see everything just fine. There are all good swaths of color blocking, which I like, but then you also have this area here where you've got some different colors that are interspersed. Uh, so you're going to have to do a little placey placey, but you have do have some large swaths of color blocking, which makes me happy. And the last kit that I did had a, like large, large, large sections where I had to do this number here of this back and forth for large sections where it would have been instead of just this small space, which this is like about an inch, inch and a quarter of overlap where I have to do this checkerboardy type pattern. Uh, the last kit that I worked on from, uh, from one of Sushi just got a wild hair. Uh, the last kit that I worked on, I had like where the entire background I had to do this for and that just took me out. So this makes me happy that I do have large swaths of color blocking where I don't, which is these areas where you get to work on the same color over and over and over again. Uh, you do have sections where to the naked eye, this comes through really clear where you have all of these little, um, kind of like this little confetti along the border right through here which comes through and is really easy to read. And then you have like the little interspersed change, which is gonna be your part where you have to actually do a little worky worky to pay attention to what you're doing. That's super clear. Same thing over here, super clear to see what we're looking at right here with the coconuts uh, right there. And then as we come down into our little melty snowman, he's super legible as well. And we're gonna have some more of that confetti, which is where we have to change our symbols in the border area. So we're gonna zoom back out a little bit. Uh, we do have a very uh, sticky, it's a thinner plastic, but plenty of adhesive and plenty of adhesive stick to it. So no problems there. I've never had an issue with uh, Swartz Design Canvas being able to work on it with the adhesive. So that's something that I don't have any complaints about. But I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this. This was a phenomenal one. I'm super excited for it. I think it's gonna be a fun one to work on. And now I just, oh my goodness, the stickers decided that they wanted to party on the back of the canvas. Uh, you, you should see this. Uh, all of the stickers clung to the back of the canvas as I moved it around. So now I have sticker fetty on the back of the canvas. Look at them, they're partying on the canvas. So now I have to pick up my Flamingo stickers and move them off the canvas uh, and get them out of the way. But I am super excited for this one. It is adorable. And this is one of those things that you never know what you're going to get. And it can be kind of nerve wracking to say, am I going to like this canvas or not? Um, but that's the only way that you're going to get a canvas, get these canvases is through the sort scription. Uh, and you get all these extra goodies as well. So you get the canvas and then you get the extra drills, which I'm going to put right in here with it. And then we have our sticker sheet in a way I it's yes, it takes time to do the cutting apart the sticker sheet like this but at the same time I've had one too many times where this you go to unroll a sticker sheet and the stickers are absolutely mangled because that's how they came uh, and that's just something that I'm like ugh, that's so tedious so not having to worry about a mangled sticker sheet is not a big deal for me so we're gonna take a quick look at we're gonna put this back in the box uh, and I'll show you how it looks on the box so we'll put that in the box there and then we will go ahead and look at the legend. I should have taken a picture of that there. And then here is the image on the box. So it's round oh, 50 by 50 uh, and there is the picture right there. So this is our uh, painting right here. We have our all the rest of our goodies and then we will call it a day. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this. I, I love the, like the, the flamingo theme. That is making me super, super happy. Oh, that's what I needed to do. I needed to read the uh, box spoilers. It says, hey, Beach Bum, inside this box, you'll find a curated collection. Uh, it says cow items, because that was the last box. I'm always curious about how why things are selected, so I thought I would include a bit about each item. 
So, on Diamond Painting, Summer Snowman. Uh, this was made specifically for this box by Cat Storkable Beetles. 13 special drills. Yes, 13. Uh, the highlight was the tie-dye bag, so she wanted to highlight the tie-dye bag in this piece. Uh, the pink flamingo drink holder, a drink floaty. Uh, and this will be for your own lazy day at the beach. The washi, which I put in there, uh, Captivating Cock, Flamingo Sunset. It's pink and beachy tie-dye kit, which is uh, the tie-dye uh, kit for the piece. The micro flamingo minder, so here is this guy right here. And the fabric flamingo organizer bin, and the flamingo lollipop, and our flamingo lights. Uh, and that is this super fun one right through here. Uh, and that was the extra piece that she added because of the extended delay that in getting this out. So she included flamingo lights for us as an apology for taking so long in getting the box out to everybody. But I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.